Hi, I'm Rosie. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Also, welcome to my first video of 2023. Today's video is my what I got for Christmas. A little late because honestly that time between Christmas to New Year's was actually chaotically busy for me. I thought like what's really the difference if I posted this right after Christmas or a week late. There's really just no difference in my head. So the only difference is I get to film this and then finally put my gifts away. I have done so many of these videos. I don't even know how many I have on my channel now, but it's a tradition. Love to show everything so I can look back and remember what I got, what I was into at the time. So I did multiple gift exchanges with a bunch of my friends and they spoiled me as usual and we just had so much fun celebrating together, having festive fun. I'm kind of sad that it's over. It's now January 2nd, but I'm also kind of ready to just, I don't know, move on from Christmas, take this stuff down and just start the new year. But obviously I can't do that until I film this video. My friend Daniela, it's still in the gift bag because I just wanted to keep everything kind of untouched for really no reason, just because the vibes. Like, sparkly, cute, Christmas, love it. First she got me this daily gratitude journal, and every page just says today I'm grateful for, and then a spot to put the date, and then um, it says my thoughts this week, there's some quotes, victories I had this week, and so many cute little kind of writing prompts, and I've never had anything like this, so I'm very excited to just start this and crack open a page whenever I'm feeling like it. Vitamin E eye masks from Sephora. Matching anklet to match with her and my other friend. So cute. And this bookmark, it's crocheted. It's adorable. It hangs out of the book. Like, look how cute. I love it. And then the cutest little sticker of a book with flowers coming out of it. And then the last thing she got me, I don't have with me because I've been using it, but it's a small little straw charm that like sits right here and it's a cutie little gingerbread. I just want a bunch of them for all different holidays and seasons because it's so freaking cute. Then for my friend Anna, she got me this mug. It looks so tropical and cute. I'm obsessed. This is something they've been wanting for so long that I decided if no one got it for me for Christmas, I was just going to go order it myself, but thankfully I didn't have to. It's a cute little book stamp that says from the library of Rosie and then my last name. It's so cute! I'm obsessed. I need to get an ink pad and then start stamping all my books. I'm a little bookworm these days and I want to keep all my books. Make a little library. And also when people borrow my books, it's a little reminder. Give it back. My friend Mariah, lots of great goodies here. First we have a watermelon sugar lip scrub from Lush and the Beauty Sleep face mask, which I freaking love this. She's gotten this for me before and I finished it a while ago, so it's due for anyone. So excited. Then she got me a Bath and Body Works slash White Barn candle that is called Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla. And it smells so freaking good. And I love the like simplistic vibes of the actual jar. It's really cute. This perfume from Bath and Body Works, and look at this packaging. Adorable. I want to keep this entire box and keep the perfume in here all the time because like the vibes, so cute. It smells so good. It's called Gingham Love. Cutie little red bottle. Yeah, so good. I don't know how to describe scents, so I'm not even gonna try, but it's really yummy. Actually, okay, fragrance notes. Sugared red berries, blushing freshia. I don't know that word and rose. I don't know how to pronounce these words, so either way, I don't know how to describe scents and I also don't know how to read them. Then, this amazing Tarte set that comes with two eyeshadow palettes. Tarte is one of my favorite makeup brands, so I'm very excited about this. From my aunt, she got me Lifesaver book, obsessed with these things, a Christmas classic, and this romper one-piece pajama set, I guess. It's a set because it comes with a little freaking matching headband. So cute. But it is a one piece Christmas sweater print. I have not tried it on yet, but I'm excited to try it on and wear it. It's so like soft and thick, kind of like thermal. And then some Puma ankle socks. She also got me this mug that says all the jingle ladies. Really cute and it comes in the cutest little box. Like I'm a sucker for good packaging. And this shirt from Aritzia, it's this nice like olive green color with puffy sleeves. I also have this shirt in black. 
so I love it. My friend Steph, she got me Savorsky earrings. So cute. She got them matching for me and my other friend. They're little hoops that have moons on them and one moon has a star on it but also you can take the moons off which is nice so it can just have basic hoops very versatile whoops so hard to see but they're so cute and they're black which i love the moons are black obviously the hoops are gold then from my friend jane she got me the charlotte tilbury pillow talk lip kit set which i'm so excited to use and i love how small and like compact it is so very cute i have not opened it yet well i have but only the lip liner falls out it's just packaged very tightly where the lipstick hasn't fallen out when i open it so unfortunately i'm probably going to just tear this open when i'm ready to use it but people don't usually keep their packaging anyways i'm just a hoarder and this sweater from joe fresh that says mountain club it's such winter vibes with like white white earmuffs and mittens it would be so cute it's like textured letters i don't know what texture this is but so cute then from my friend emily there is lots of goodies in this box let's dive in first micellar micellar however you say it water makeup remover i requested this because you got it for me last year and i finished it and so she got it for me again it's just gonna be a tradition now where She's always just going to top me up with my makeup remover. Another thing I requested is I wanted a clear brow gel because the one that I have is like tinted. So the more I use it, the darker my eyebrows look. And I want them to be filled, but I also want them to like stay in place without having to put so much on. So I wanted a clear one and she got me one and I'm so excited to use it. Then a skin fix, skin effects, however you say it, cream. This lip pencil hydrating face mask this is another thing i requested i love a good combo pack and i'm obsessed with both of these things the mary Badescu drying lotion and face spray and then this is something that's so cool because i've never seen this before and she got it in buffalo like she went cross-border shopping so i don't even know if this is like in canada or if i've just never seen it but it's all of the mary Badescu sprays like i'm obsessed and I have a little two from on them, which I don't know why, I just thought that was so cute. But like, I'm so excited because I've only used these two before, so now I get to try all of them. This like, shook me. Then she's actually part of me getting like, so into reading last year because she bought me the book Verity by Colleen Hoover, which just sparked something in me. So she bought me a book again and took a risk and just picked one out, assuming I'd like it, which she was right because it literally is on my Goodreads. I want to read this. I've heard good things. It's called The Silent Patient, so I'm very excited to read this. I have like a lineup of books that I need to read this year, and I'm going to make that one a priority. So then from my other friend, Emily, we're going to dive into what she got me. First of all, Britney Spears Perfume, which I was with her, and I knew about this, and I kind of requested it because this is one of my favorite perfumes ever, and it's so hard to find, and it basically only comes around at Christmas time, and I couldn't find this one on its own, so bought the set but i'm also excited to try all of these because i love this one so i'm assuming i'm gonna like all of them another thing that i really wanted that i've never had before a matching workout set it's so cute i wanted one that was a little bit longer and like high-waisted so there's not like too much stomach showing but still you know cute whatever so it's from lululemon first we have this green sports bra a little crisscross action in the back and then the matching green leggings which I don't have any lululemon leggings that are not black like I just have one pair that are black so to even have just lululemon leggings that are a different color is so fun these are not going to just be worn when I work out these are just going to be worn all the time because obsessed nothing feels better than a line she just went on a trip to St. Lucia and got me a little souvenirs from there which I am a sucker for a souvenir and my new thing is collecting ornaments for my Christmas tree that are like from destinations and like trips I've been on or other people have been on and so she got me this cutie little St. Lucia tree ornament like this gift box literally like smells like a vacation the next thing we're obsessed with is massive oversized like men's t-shirts from touristy places so she got this St. Lucia t-shirt which I just feel like I'm gonna wear all the time and it just has like a big picture on it I think it says what like St. Lucia Caribbean life, Pier 27. And like, it's a vibe. 
with some bike shorts in the summer. Or even just like as a pool cover up with a bathing suit under. It randomly is like one of my favorite things that she got me. She left notes on like all the gifts. Um, we like to do that as like little hints and whatever. So you can't actually see what it is, but it's a Dior lip oil, clear lip oil, which is perfect for me because sometimes I forget to actually put like color on, but this is something I can just like have with me all the time. Put it on to like glossy scalp massager from Sephora. The eye mask, I ask for one every Christmas because by the end of the year, the eye mask I used all year is just like so stretched out, stained and gross. So we have a new one and she's white and fluffy. This is something I desperately needed and it's top coat and base coat for my gel nail kit. And I really wanted to try pimple patches and I had no idea that Mario Badescu made them. So I'm very excited because clearly I'm a fan that you can use like the morning after using the dry lotion. So I'm very excited to see some results with that. And then something I've been wanting for a while since my birthday, which no one got me for my birthday. And so I thought, same with the reading stamp. That was one thing where I was like, oh, I'm just gonna like get it myself but I didn't have to. I wanted a foundation brush, just a basic, this is Morphe M439, and I just really needed a good foundation brush because the one I have right now is like so old and gross. It leaves like hair, like brush hair stuck to my face. Just it doesn't, doesn't work for me. So this was a must. And this really, really shocked me. I know I said the St. Lucia shirt is my favorite, but this is my favorite. It's from Skims. It's the first Skims thing I've ever owned. And it is this bodysuit that I saw on TikTok where it just like sucks you in. It's like shapewear where people literally like have jeans on that like just fit. And then when they put this on, the jeans are big on them. Crazy concept. It looks crazy when it's off because it looks tiny. Like would that look like it would fit me? No. But I swear it does, and it looks like that. And when you put it on, it looks like just a regular black bodysuit, except it completely, like, I don't know, like, accentuates your entire body. It's insane to get on because it's so tiny, as you just saw. Like, it was a two person job. I think I'll get used to it over time, but very excited. From my grandma, but I picked it out. It's just this Snow Fairy Lush body conditioner. It's again something I usually get every Christmas and then by this time I run out and then I'm due for more. It's a Ritzia bra top, which I had, but one day in October I was wearing it and I felt something weird and I looked down and the strap just snapped right off. So maybe I shouldn't have gotten it again, like maybe I should have moved on to something else, but I just really loved it and nothing compares. So I'll just have to deal with wear and tear. It's a turtleneck or a tank top t-shirt hybrid. Kind of, I don't know, the sleeves are like, I don't know how to describe them, kind of short. And it's ribbed, and I love it. My sister, she got me the Mary Badescu drying lotion, which I always need more of, so I'm literally like stocked for months to come. And then this is something I requested. It's literally just a white t-shirt, but my favorite white t-shirt I've ever owned, and it's from Maritzia, the Babaton brand. And mine just is like so stained, so worn that I was just due for a new one. Also something I requested, which is a one-piece bodysuit from Aritzia. Not even bodysuit, what's it called? Like a romper one-piece, like leggings and a tank top all in one. And when I first like heard of these and like saw them on TikTok and whatnot, I thought it was weird. And then I got a burning desire to own one. And people always wonder like what if you have to pee, but honestly I don't have to that often anyways. And I mean, it's just like a bodysuit, just take it down and deal with it. So I'm excited to wear that, layer it, crew necks under it. And from my parents, these are some socks that I picked out. They are Puma, it comes with like 12 of them. So I'm stocked up. A new Quo Beauty Blender because I was due for a new one. A Tim's gift card. And then obviously all my treats that were from my stocking that are downstairs and I've also consumed. And the big gift from my parents, I also picked out. It is a laser, at-home laser kit by the brand Kenzie. Kenzie, I'm so excited to use this. My favorite YouTuber like swears by this and recommends it all the time. So I was like, I want it. I am easily influenced, but also my dog is scratching the carpet right now. 
but also I just really wanted to try it out because I have done laser professionally and I just think it'd be so ideal if I could just do it at home. Same way like I bought my gel nail kit, like I just want to do everything that you usually pay people to do myself if I can. So I cannot wait to crack this open and use it. And I mean worst case if I don't like it, if it doesn't work, I have 90 days to just send it back. I also just realized I forgot something from my sister which is something I'm randomly so excited for and it's like one of my favorite gifts which I haven't even tried it yet so it's kind of bold to say but it's the Bailey's s'mores. I have just been really wanting to try this every time I see it I'm just so intrigued and it has like some recommendations what you can make a s'mores teeny, a s'mores hot chocolate, a s'mores shot and it just sounds so delicious and it looks so cute. So that is it for my 2022 Christmas haul. Thank you to everyone, my friends and family that got me all of this stuff. I'm so happy, I cannot wait to use everything. I feel like I'm going to go into the new year with flawless skin, fingers crossed, because I got so many nice skincare products and so many like essential clothing items that I just am so stoked to have. Anyways, merry belated Christmas to everyone. Happy new year. Stay tuned for more videos, subscribe. I will post hopefully more this year. I didn't as much in 2022. I forgot the year that it was, but we're hoping to make a change in 2023. I also want to just say 500 subscribers has been on my, you know, vision board for a while and it finally happened in 2022. So thank you for that.